In a mirage, we have light that is refracted. Let's say we have an object, in this case a tree. Light hits it from the sun, reflects out in every direction. Some of that light goes straight from the tree to our eyes. So we perceive the tree to be right there. But some of the light that reflects off the tree travels in a downward path like this. However, because we have a hot roadway here, the index of refraction of these different layers of air is different. And because of that, light bends as it goes from one of those layers continually into the next layer. And this ray of light can actually be made to bend straight back up. And what happens is we perceive another tree in this direction. In other words, we see the real object and then we see an image of the object because the light from the real object is bending in this way. Mirages, by the way, are not optical illusions. You can photograph them. I'll show you that on the next couple of slides. If you've ever seen water on the road, I remember as a kid driving on the interstate and looking ahead and it looked like the road was wet and then turning around and looking behind and the road was wet there as well. Well, that water on the road is an image of the sky. Inferior mirages are formed when the air below the line of sight is warmer than the air above. Inferior mirages are not stable. That is, they shimmer because of the constant mixing between the warm air below, which tends to rise, and the cooler air above, which tends to sink. Light reflecting off the object going toward the ground levels off and then bends back up to the eye level of the observer. This is the type of mirage that I talked about earlier with the tree. And this is what I'm talking about down here, where it looks like the road is wet. That watery looking area is actually an image of the sky, a shimmery image of the sky. Superior mirages are formed when the air below the line of sight is colder than the air above. This is called a temperature inversion and is a fairly rare occurrence. When superior mirages do form, however, they tend to be stable because the more dense cold air stays below the less dense warmer air. Depending on the observer's distance from the object, superior mirages may be either upright if the observer is farther away or inverted if the observer is closer. And here I have a couple of pictures which I think are insanely cool of superior mirages. The one on the left were farther away so the image is upright with regard to the object so it looks like that cliff is actually about twice as tall as it really is. And on the right we're a little bit closer so this superior mirage is inverted relative to the object. There's the object, we got a boat, and there's the mirage inverted. A cool consequence of refraction.